Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm heading out to do a black and white POV in the streets of London. Now the preset that I'm gonna use for this is linked below and it's on my website for one pound. So if you wanna use it, it's there for a pound if you want it. Let me know your thoughts of the, uh, I went for this like kind of filmic vibe. I wanted to kind of create this nostalgic filmic black and white preset that you guys can use. It's in, it's in the description if you want it, it's one pound. Uh, I also have other presets available. If you're new here, consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you get notified every time I do upload. And let's get out into the streets and go and shoot some stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to another POV. Today we've got the Sony a7 IV, the 85mm 1.4 from Samyang, and I have got my settings on. The focus mode is on AFC, the uh, focus area is on wide, and we are on uh, drive mode single shooting. Okay, so there's a shot here. I'm on the 85 mil. I'm going to shoot this at 1.4 because I want the depth. I'm going to do just here. I'm going to take it in landscape. Okay, I think that works. That's a cool shot. Okay, so again, that was at 400 per second, f1.4, ISO 125. Okay, so I've just spotted a nice little frame of that street. So I'm going to come into the center of Oxford Street. Uh, the street is Winsley Street. So in the background, you have like kind of a church tower and i think if i can get the church tower and someone walking through the frame in the same frame it could look quite cool so i'm going to get down and get the angle on it how's that look oh there we go oh, all right there we go one and done nice 400 per second f 1.4 iso 125 walking down ox street a little bit further on the left hand side there's like a i don't know some photography and it's called my west end and there's a shot here of a woman like looking to, well, her left, my right. I'm thinking if I can get kind of her in the left-hand side of the frame and then somebody walking towards that photo in the right-hand side of the frame, it'll look as if she's smiling at the person walking into the frame. Well, that's the idea anyway. So, do you walk into the frame here now. Ah, there was a taxi right at the wrong point. What about now? I think that kind of work. Yeah, that works, I think. So on the other side of the street, I'm just uh, outside Wells Mews. There's a, a window and there's a dude sat inside the window, but the, uh, the window is slightly frosted over. So if I come a little bit closer, shoot in landscape, adjust the settings to 320 of a second. I think that works, maybe if I come to the left a little bit. I think I need to go back a bit. It's a good start, it's a good start to the video. We've already got some decent shots. Okay, so there's a frame here on the other side. Just wait for someone to walk through the frame. Maybe this dude is gonna walk down the tunnel, which might even work a bit better. Oh, that's nice, I like that. Great. Nice couple of, oh, that's sick that is. Okay, so yeah, 400 of a second, F1.4, ISO 125. Now I could obviously change up the uh, the f-stop, but I, I just like shooting at 1.4. It's a personal preference. It's a creative decision. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're trying to be trim and proper, then you probably put it f4 uh, f4 or f5.6 or something along those lines. If you're trying to be clinical and you know professional, but personally, creative choice. I like shooting at f1.4. Now there's another one down here, another little street, which is quite cool. If I can kind of come head on with this little tunnel. Maybe we can... Oh, that was quite a good shot. I'll take that. Just wait for someone else to walk through the frame. It's quite... No, it would be quite nice at like a wider angle, I think. Um, I do have the 14 on me, but I don't know if I want to get it out because... Hmm... I don't know. It was a good shot. It's it's actually leading into uh, Rathbone Square, if you're interested where this tunnel is. Um, it would actually be really good for portrait stuff. Uh, like wide portrait photography in here would look sick. Um, so I'm gonna bank this location for sure so I can come back and shoot it in the future. It's a nice little frame here because obviously you've got the harsh lighting behind people so it creates that nice silhouette effect. That's nice. That's really cool. 
Okay, so if I shoot kind of through this way. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, are you seeing this? Look, the camera's just broke. The camera has literally just broken. What the hell? Look, can you see this? Look. It's not turning on or off. Wow, I've never had that. Did you guys see that? Oh my god, what the fuck? No. Has it just died? What the hell was that? Did you guys see that? It just got so messed up. That was so weird. I've never had a camera do that. Maybe it's the patterns, I don't know. That was weird. Okay, so... Oh, that's a really cool shot, actually. Boosh. Okay, sweet. We'll take that. Like that. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's a, that's a really cool shot. With the light coming in there as well, that's really sick. Kind of want one person in that frame. Sweet. That's really nice. That's such a nice... That's actually a really nice frame. I'm going to take it in portrait as well. So I'm going to tap so I get the center focus. Sweet. I'll take that for sure. That is actually a really, really, really sick shot. There you are. Okay, so above the Samsonite store, there's a dude in the window pacing his, uh, his office on the phone. And I think it's actually quite a cool shot. So we'll do it in landscape, 500th of a second, f1.4, ISO 1. Okay, so there's a frame here that I want with the traffic lights and the Tottenham Court Road station entrance. But I kind of want the, I want it to be counting down. because so I just think it, it looks better than just like the, the stop or go sign. Okay, so hopefully when it goes, uh, well, uh, when it goes like this, so we'll just wait now. And hopefully by the time it starts counting down, the people would have like moved out of the frame. So just wait here. Okay, now we've got five seconds to get the shot. Is this person gonna walk to the frame? Go, go, go. Okay, I think it worked. But while there was crossing out, Okay, so there's a shot coming up because there's a bunch of cyclists in front of a bus and I think it'd be quite a cool shot to get the, the cyclist coming towards me the bus kind of behind me. See if I can get closer to them before they actually set off from the traffic lights. Okay, sick, let's go. Okay, so that actually turned out pretty good. I quite like that, because you've got like the depth of the shot. Because I was shooting at f2.2, it was focusing on the cyclists, and then uh, in the background, you obviously had the bus kind of out of focus. Uh, it was shot at 800th of a second, so obviously because they were moving, I wanted to make sure that they were going to be nice and sharp. And then the ISO was 125. What you do? Yeah? Eh? Yeah? You do photo or video? Both. Both. Yeah, I do both, yeah. I do a lot of street photography as kind of like a hobby. Right. Have a good day, yeah? Bye-bye. Right. Okay, so there's a shot here. If I kind of hide myself off the pillar, get the dude... Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, that was shot at uh, f2.2, 320th of a second, ISO 125. The shot that I'm looking at here is you have some of this, these are kind of like glass windows in front of me. I'm gonna get it all like married up. Two lads walk through the, through the frame. Sweet. It's a nice shot. I like that. Find a street shot here. Dude on the left hand side of the frame. Smoke his cigarette. It's a nice busy frame. Sweet. That's really nice. Love that. Okay, some nice harsh lighting here, which I don't know. I'm gonna wait to see if I can get the frame. Sorry. No, you're right. It's okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm hoping that that woman over there is gonna be able to cross the road in front of the bus. I'll try and get one in uh, landscape as well. So 
so I was actually waiting for uh, the person to walk kind of into the frame to block the frame a little bit to give a bit of depth which is the one that you can see on the screen and then the one that I was initially trying to get was the woman crossing the road but kind of the cyclist came in at the wrong point there and kind of messed up the frame a little bit but both shots are good um, there's a shot here actually of some dude on the on the phone in uh, in Nero I'm just going to get that shot if I can kind of like position myself behind the tree so I don't get in the reflection. Hello, hello mate, can I ask you why you're taking photos of the buildings? Oh, it's not the buildings. All right, no worries. Right. It's the dude on the phone, yeah. You can have a look if you want. It's a cool street shot. That's, that's all right. right. No, it's it's a, no, you're right. We do, we do a lot of anti-terrorism and we're yeah, yeah. Like, we'll No worries at all, dude, no worries. So we do one in portrait as well. See, there we go. Love that. Okay, moving down uh, to Strand. So if you ever do get stopped like that, um, just honestly, just be so honest. You know, just say what you're doing. Don't try be all defensive and be like, what, I could do all I want, because it makes you look really sus. Because at the end of the day, we're not doing anything wrong being out doing street photography. I'm gonna go down, what is the street? Sardinia Street? I don't know how you pronounce that, but we're heading down this street. Dude on the, across the other side of the road is quite a vibe. So we'll definitely get that as a shot. We could go head on. Okay, there's a cool little frame here. Oh, there's a bench just in front of me. And then in the background, there's people playing tennis. And it's quite nice. It's a nice little story uh, in the frame. Because you have the, the woman watching them play tennis. And then the people kind of playing the tennis, which is, I don't know, it's a nice little story shot we're gonna get quite a layered shot here of like you've got london eye you've got big ben and uh <laughs> i said wait to take this shot so i walked into the frame it's funny back towards it in portrait and i'm thinking maybe we, we can we can get some people in the, in the foreground as well maybe hey that's actually a really sick shot because the dude has got his like hand up to his head like to his eyes to protect his eyes from the sun and it looks like he's oh that's such a sick shot i like that shot shot on the other side of the road there's a dude running through the frame did i get the oh yes what a shot oh i am happy with that wow that was like super like rushed as well because <laughs> i wasn't expecting it and i think that's kind of like the whole awesome thing about street photography is you never know when something's gonna happen so you gotta be like super quick there's a shot over here of a dude uh just kind of leaning against the side gonna wait for no cars in the frame should have a little gap here oh and someone walking down the stairs as well sick i will i will happily take that that right there is lock on a stick that's what i'll call that so i've just spotted a really cool frame these two ladies looking at the tourist board and with like saint paul's in the background that's really sick and actually that frame of saint paul's is really nice alone now i think you'll agree the black and white vibe in this is is, is something else like i just love shooting black and white especially in street there's just something about it that just just works right and i think when you shoot color in the street, yes, you can play with like the greens and the yellows and make it look nostalgic, but there's just something not the same as black and white. Like, I don't know if you agree, let me know in the comments, but like for me, black and white is so nostalgic and so like lovely for street photography. We're gonna jump into the hashtag optical wonder to see what you've been shooting over the last couple of days. Maybe we'll look at some black and white, uh, uh, black and white photos. Um, and then we'll also have a look at some other ones as well. Again, reminder, the preset that I used in today's video is in the description for one pound if you'd like to use it. And I also have 114 presets for 10 pound as well. Okay, the hashtag is up to 290,000 posts. We're gonna go down, oh, that's a sick shot, look at that. I think we'll agree that's pretty sick. Um, going down, going down, going down. That's a really cool shot, like, like looking through at the, the ceiling, I like that. Um, any black and white shot? This one's black and white. Great. Honestly, there's just something about it. 
that's a black and white. Oh, I love that vibe. I love that. Like the simplicity of that shot that I've just lost. Oh my God, what a nightmare. What's happened here? <laughs> uh, this one here. I think the simplicity of this shot is just insane. Um, going down, another black and white shot here. And another one here of a, what is that? What is that? Is it like a, a, a bug? Nice, nice bug. Um, another black and white one here. I'm trying to find, there's two there. I think they're the same people. This one here. Now, black and white for me, I think that the way that black and white works good is if you kind of don't kind of try and uh, pop the, I, I think contrast is a big thing in black and white photography. And I think sometimes you can have a bit too much contrast, not necessarily this one on the screen, because uh, it's not that contrasty at all. But in some uh, black and white photos, you can go too far down the, the contrast side. Now, what you want to try to do is when you're, when you're editing photos, you want to try to make sure that there's no details lost in the blacks or in the shadows. Um, this one here is a great shot, but I think it kind of falls into that pattern of maybe a little bit too much contrast. So what I would have done here is I would have bumped up maybe the shadows, decreased the contrast to bring back some of that detail in the shot. Going down a bit more, uh, this black and white one here, really, if we look, if we'll use this as an example, look, if we kind of zoom into the, the darker areas of the image where you expect it to be blown out in the, you know, for blacks and contrast, I actually think this is really well edited. I like that shot a lot. Um, let's go down a bit more. We'll do, let's do, let's do a couple more, but we'll do some uh, color ones. That's a cool shot. And then we'll do, uh, oh, there's so many good ones. There's so many great shots. A tram shot there. Can't go wrong with the tram shot. And black and white, well, oh, look at that. Love that shot. Great shot. Those eyes are, tack sharp as well. Let's do one more and we'll, we'll end on this one. I really like that shot because the snow, the snow is actually in focus and the, the person in the background is out of focus and is walking away from the camera that creates that kind of like mystery, that like, that question of who is that? And I love that shot. That honestly, probably my favorite shot that I've seen on the hashtag today. If you do want to get featured on this channel, you can use the hashtag optical wonder over on Instagram. Um, and also, uh, as per yesterday's conversation about the Discord, I'm currently sorting it out. So in the next couple of days, I will be releasing a Discord server. So you guys can arrange meetups in your home cities or towns or countries. So you can, uh, you can meet other fellow creatives. With all that being said, create more, stress less, and of course, go out, shoot, and have some fun.